Mitchell. It's been a long time since the Aggies and Longhorns have been together in Omaha for the College World Series. 18 years, in fact. Way back in 1993, the Aggies were the top seed, Horns number three seed. Neither team won it all that year, but both teams have championship dreams this time around. The Longhorns were back on the practice field today, preparing to make their record 34th trip to the College World Series. The Aggies, meanwhile, have won 10 of their last 12 games, including the Big 12 tournament, and are among the hottest teams in the country. Either one of the state's flagship universities could be hoisting a trophy by month's end. Well, certainly so. I mean, we're up there. We're one of eight teams left playing. We're back to a four-team double elimination tournament. And, you know, we're going up there to play. We're going up to win that thing. And, and we'll go up there and play well and see what happens. You have no motivation problems. Uh, the situation and the environment creates the motivation. And uh, so it's my favorite time because uh, the players learn inning by inning now about winning. Here's the schedule for the Aggies and Horns this weekend. Both will play in the evening. Longhorns on Saturday against Florida. The Aggies Sunday against defending national champion South Carolina. A&M and Texas are in opposite brackets, folks. So the only time they would play each other is in the championship series. Wouldn't that be great? The KVU sports team will be in Omaha for all the action at the 2011 College World Series beginning this weekend. Stay with us for complete coverage. Saddled with